guys, what's up? Unrested here, and I am actually in my brand new, well, actually I don't know if I'd call this brand new, but it is my new house. Um, right now we're in the process of talking to refurbishers about completely refurbishing the inside of this place because it's an absolute mess. Um, we bought this place about a month ago. Those of you who have me added on Facebook uh, saw me make that comment that we just bought our first place. Really excited about this. Um, yeah, this is uh, kind of the way it works in Japan. You have an apartment. And this is obviously an apartment. It's not a house. And you can actually, I'm talking a whole apartment building, you can actually buy the, pretty much I guess what you would say, the inside of the apartment. And I mean, you own it. You can change anything you want. Uh, you can do anything you want to it. No one can ever make you move out after you pay it off. And um, you are the owner. Kind of like a condo. I guess I would uh, attribute it to almost the same as a condo. But it, it is really like a little bit different. Uh, there's a little bit different rules here in Japan for how stuff works and uh, how community cash works and stuff like that. But nonetheless, this is what we purchased. I know right now it doesn't look particularly pretty. Um, but pretty much what I thought I would do is take you through it uh, day one before anyone even gets to touch anything in the house, before anything at all is refurbished. Uh, you can just take a look around and see how dirty it is. Let me just show you some of this disgustingness. What happened here? <laughs> what did somebody do in this bedroom? I, you know what? I don't want to know. And this is actually the master bedroom. Okay. And yeah, this place is pretty trash too. Take a look at this. Like, the wallpaper is coming off the wall and all they've done is taped it up with some 3M tape. Okay, that's a great fix there. And those are the closets, okay. And, um, you know, okay, I guess I'll just show this to you. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, man, it smells so fucking bad in here, you have no idea. It's not a toilet or anything like that. Don't get too scared. This is like where the washer would go. I do not know how you let that much mildew build up behind your washer. That's totally disgusting. The bath's disgusting too. And let me just tell you, the picture alone here cannot describe how pungent and disturbing the smell is in this room. So I am just going to have everything torn out of there. Um, this is going to be our living room. As of right now, it's way smaller than what it actually is going to be. We have an extra bedroom over here. We're just going to tear it out and make the living room way bigger. That's going to look really nice. Um, the nicest thing about this place is we have way more bright outside natural light coming in compared to that house we used to live in before, which was pretty much like a cave. Um, this right here, this room... Um, probably we're just going to keep it like a study or a library or something like that. Oh yeah, and we're going to get rid of the tatami mat. Um, you know, tatami mat's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But here's my thing with tatami mat. I have asthma, and tatami mat is notorious for trapping tons of mildew and dust. So it doesn't really work too well with me. Um, yeah, you can see the shoji need to be replaced. The, the paper doors are shoji. They obviously 100% need to be replaced. Again, another room, and this will probably be the baby's room, and obviously this needs to be redone because this would not be the most, uh, how would you say, congruent to the raising of a child. So definitely we got to get that all fixed up. And uh, pretty much what I'm going to do, show you the kitchen right over here that's also going to be completely refurbished. What did they do to this stove? Like, this is one of those things where you don't have a surface on the stove, but somehow it seems like they've almost created a surface from burning stuff over and over again. That's disgusting. Here, I, I don't know if the last owners ever washed the place in their life. One thing I found very strange, um, 
You know, I've gone home shopping in America quite a bit just because my parents moved around about seven times um, while I lived in the States. And so I'm used to going around looking at different houses, apartments, whatever. Um, and I noticed, you know, in America people usually try to clean up quite a bit, make the place look spiffy, really try to sell it. Um, here in Japan, not really a big deal if the place is totally trashed when you come to see it. We went around to see quite a few. Now then again, I do live in Osaka, so maybe this is just an Osaka thing. If it is, write to me, yell at me, comment, I understand, whatever. Um, but pretty much, they just don't really care too much. They figure, hey, guess what, when you move in, you're probably going to fix it, so why should we clean anything up? <laughs> I guess that's the mentality. Um, quite a few times I've moved into apartments to find them totally trashed and stuff like that here before in Japan. Uh, all this is going to be refurbished. We do not need a super tiny microwave, so definitely that's gone. Um, this is a place you... It looks like it would dry dishes, maybe, but it's actually just a place the refurbisher said you just put dishes there to dry. Like, just sit there and air dry. I'm not sure how that works. It does actually have a washer. I was really surprised. That's not a common thing in a Japanese house or home. Um, but pretty much that's it, guys. I wanted to take you through day one before this place is even touched. I know it sucks I had to use an iPhone, but that's all I've got right now, and I really can't come around with my uh, really nice HD camera because I just don't have the time for that, unfortunately, these days. But uh, let's see how this thing turns out. I'll take you through step by step, and hopefully we have a really damn nice place when it's all done, right?